Okay, before uh, we proceed to uh, our Kati Assembly, so I would like to uh, stress here regarding uh, our learning outcome. So, by the end of the lesson, the student will be able to firstly understand on how to assemble the component into the product. Okay, and then the second one is uh, how to create a 3D constraint in an assembly design environment. Okay, so the definition uh, of uh, assembly is uh, to cover the assembly part. Previously, that we have uh, produced in the part design, uh, as you still remember, the uh, piston and also the shaft and etc. that we uh, already done previously. So we we use that kind of component uh, into this uh, assembly uh, lecture or assembly uh, practice. Okay, so this one is uh, for the assembly is very important because uh, they will show you the interrelationship between the part of the component or machine and the uh, mechanism. Alright, so inside the this page of you learn you can see the most important toolbar okay as i mentioned here the product structure the product structure tools okay you can see here uh, and then the move pipe okay later on i will share the details with you on how to use this kind of features okay the constraint okay the measurement okay the space analysis and the updates all right so we we'll go back to uh, our Katia environment okay as you can see here okay let me uh, make it fit uh, into your screen all right okay so firstly on how to start this one you can go to start okay mechanical design Okay, you choose the assembly design here. Okay, then you click. Alright. And from here, you can see the product tree mentioned the product. Okay. So, and then from the, on the right hand side, you can see the icon, the assembly design. Okay. And then you can change the name of the product here. Right click. Okay, you right click and then you go to properties and then you can put a part number so remember in the uh, assembly the part number uh, is the most important thing because why the engineers okay the quality guy the production guy and the financial guy they all refer to the part number because why the part number is more easiest uh, for us to find find out to find out scene uh, all department uh, all department across department they use a part number compared to we use the part name such as a uh, part name might be uh, let's say example sidebar sidebar or panel a bar so it might get us uh, all of us confused regarding to them regarding to the name compared to the part number because the part number is like uh, our identification uh, card number actually so it is uh, easiest and uh, the good way for us to to use uh, in our uh, assembly or in our component name Okay, so from here you can change the part number let's say zero 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 one or one and then you put an underscore let's say uh, our sh our piston piston okay piston okay and then revision uh, regarding is a uh, 
either is a first revision second revision okay there is a uh, several stages eh, in the product development such as uh, uh, prototype and then mass production and also replacement part okay so for the prototype usually we are using a uh, alphabet such as uh, a b c and so on but then for uh, production revision uh, usually we use a numeric number eh? one two three uh, and so on all right and then we put a revision new uh, as a new revision as an end and then uh, okay so from here okay i take out the features here all right so so i will explain regarding about the product structure tool first okay so here product structure tools okay we have the component one so i just click this is the component one so from this uh, let's say we want to add another one just a uh, double click sorry we, cl we click the 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 main one first okay i already highlight this one and then we click the component so it will add up another component okay let's say the first component is uh, our our shaft eh? our shaft is let's say we put our number is 0002 okay uh, shaft okay 